hello guys welcome to my channel today uh, we will see uh, raster data management in ArcGIS Pro and we will see how to create and uh, organize raster data in uh, mosaic data set in ArcGIS Pro so uh, as we know organizing and uh, managing rasters in the imagery uh, and the transforming them into uh, relevant information products presents many uh, challenges in uh, spatial data analysis so an efficient uh, way for uh, efficient meter to solve uh, this challenge is to use uh, a mosaic uh, data set uh, like a mosaic data set in ArcGIS Pro so uh, a mosaic data set is a geo database data model to categorize process visualize query and uh, share uh, small to large collection of raster data so uh, in this tutorial we will see uh, how to create uh, or how to organize and create raster data using the mosaic data set in ArcGIS Pro. So we will try to perform first uh, to create the empty mosaic data set and then uh, add raster data which is a collection of raster data in the created mosaic data set and then we will also try to build a footprint uh, to modify the created uh, mosaic data set to Next to crop just to uh, crop the mosaic data set to the uh, extent of our uh, uh, area of interest so we will try to perform this taxes so to create a mosaic data set first we have to create the uh, geo database or file geo database so here i have uh, opened my ArcGIS pro and renamed it as Rust data management so once we have opened your ArcGIS, just uh, add or create any folder on your drive and uh, connect this folder just right click on the project uh, catalog under catalog right click on the folder one and add folder permission i have already connected my uh, folders i have saved my project in this uh, folder so then once you have connected your folder uh, click on your folder and uh, create a new geo database so just click this one and uh, new uh, file geo database i have already created this uh, mosaic data set uh, geo database so uh, once we have created your uh, geo database next you will create the empty mosaic data set so to create mosaic data you can just use the geo processing tool or simply you can right click on this uh, geo database and uh, click this new under this we have the option called the mosaic data set So this new processing window will open here and the, our output location will be the created uh, mosaic data set your database and the uh, mosaic data set name you have to give the name of your mosaic data set I'm renaming it as mosaic then you have to specify the coordinate system of this mosaic data set so you have to match this coordinate system with your uh, raster data that you are going to input in your raster data set or in this mosaic data set so for me just just click on this option under this search your uh, code for your uh, coordinate system in my case it is for uh, this area so this is uh, the coordinate system for my raster data set that I am going to input in this raster data set so you have to specify your uh, coordinate system to match with the uh, input raster data so uh, ensure that the product decision file is set to the default value of zero this one so this uh, parameter allows you to select uh, a template that is uh, either generic or specific to the type of imagery that you are uh, working with so we keep the default one once we have specified this parameter just click on the RAM button so the mosaic data set, data set is created here so you can check the new database go to this catalog under this we have new data added to the map for on this uh, mosaic uh, your uh, habits which is mosaic data set here uh, the data is uh, contains three layers the boundary footprint and the imagery layer so as you can see it is uh, like this so although this uh, new data set is uh, MPT uh, it includes MPT boundary the MPT footprint and uh, imagery layer and add 
some uh, default parameters or properties that are uh, added to the uh, data set so by default the boundary is appears in uh, this hollow red polygon and the fourth polygon is uh, appears as uh, hollow uh, green polygon so next we will add uh, the raster to this uh, mosaic data set so in the catalog just right click on this one or in the created mosaic data set then choose the uh, add uh, raster this one add raster so the add raster to mosaic data set you pressing to look in here then uh, for the, ra the raster data type select that uh, raster data set is selected then then for the input data just select the folder one from this then go to your folder and add the rasters that you are going to add to this uh, mosaic data set so i am going uh, to my folder where i uh, saved my rasters so this uh, add raster to my mosaic data set your processing tool has additional uh, operations for the performing of raster processing which includes the calculating statics or building the pyramid for the new uh, created uh, mosaic data set so uh, you can just uh, specify these inputs and uh, you can keep the processing template as default and run the process to add these rasters to the mosaic data set So add raster to mosaic data set is completed here. Then we can zoom into the area. Just right click and uh, zoom to layer. So this is the mosaic uh, data set containing the raster data we have added right now. So as we see the uh, mosaic data set appears as a large black uh, image because the uh, statistics have not uh, yet been calculated on the mass in the uh, mosaic data uh, set so as a result we are uh, seeing the default maximum and the minimum possible pixel depth values uh, instead of the actual value of the input raster image so we can calculate the statistics for the uh, mosaic data set using uh, enhanced tool in uh, bio uh, the habit here so in this catalog box just right click on the uh, mosaic data set and then uh, point to this modify first we have to enhance the image so to calculate the statics just uh, select this enhance and uh, calculate so this statics help us to enhance uh, the rendering of our data to uh, increase a maps drawing performance for uh, the raster data source in order to perform certain uh, other tasks such as uh, applying contrast rate or image classification so uh, you are going to accept the defaults just uh, run the process to calculate the statics of the image so here as you can see the image display is uh, uh, changed and the image is displayed with this uh, RGB image and it's also there are uh, so we will build a footprint to the modify the mosaic data set we are going to limit the extent of this mosaic data set and uh, going to remove the uh, this flux uh, pixels so using the build footprint tool we can uh, dramatically adjust the areas or tiles of the imagery being displayed to, to uh, limit the extent of the display of the image in area or in detail in tiles we can use the um, built uh, footprint tool in mosaic data set so in this catalog pane just right click on the uh, mosaic data set and select this modify under this just select the build footprint So this window will appear here next for the computational method. Just we are going to use the radiometry. So this setting or the radiometric method uh, 
exclude the pixels value outside the defined ranges so uh, it is used to exclude borders areas that do not contain the valid uh, data or valid pixels values so then we are going to specify the maximum and the minimum value for the display so uh, it is the for the maximum for this image uh, the minimum value will be uh, 4 and for this uh, the maximum value will be 245 the input so this is a bit depth of the radiometric resolution of the image or the raster data set it determines this value so the maximum value and the minimum value of the pixel will depend on the uh, radiometric resolution of the input image so uh, all values outside this uh, range will be uh, considered invalid and removed from the uh, perimeter of the footprint so uh, you have to take the radiometric resolution from your uh, input raster to uh, specify the maximum and the minimum data values then for this uh, approximate number of vertexes we are going to consider 90 so this indicates the number of vertexes that the new footprint polygons will uh, include so based on the extent of the uh, polygon so for the uh, set distance or shrink distance just set the 250 so it is a distance value that the overall polygon will be uh, reduced in size so make sure that this two is uh, selected then uh, you can run the process to build the footprint so the footprint the how element tool is completed as you can see the black part of the image is already uh, excluded and uh, the extent of the footprint only displayed on the image so uh, as we can see the build footprint tool uses the combination of geometric extent and uh, the radiometric value to dynamic uh, mosaic the image so we have done the geometric and the radiometric correction so uh, both the pixel value and the geometric property are used to make the footprints so uh, by doing this we can uh, manage our raster data in the mosaic data set using uh, built mosaic data set in rpgs pro so this is all about my today's tutorial we have seen how to create a mosaic data set in the add raster data in mosaic data set and finally we have seen how to build a footprint for uh, better modifying the input data and removing the uh, invalid pixels from the uh, raster data so this is all about my today's tutorial see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel